Today on Random Crap Week, I'm actually not going to be doing a Flash game. No, I've got something really, really screwed up to show you. And there's a bit of history behind this one. Um, I have a bunch of Super Nintendo games that I never picked out myself. I sort of got these from my friend on a CD, and he got them from his brother, who got them from his friend. And a lot of these I never actually bothered to look at because they just didn't interest me. And then one day I noticed that I have this Sonic game here. And so I'm thinking, Sonic on Super Nintendo. Wow, like, what, what the heck could this be? So, let's try it out. You've got the logo there, looks promising enough. But are you willing to bet that it gets really bad once you start playing? Yeah, well guess what? It gets bad as soon as you press the start button. The fuck was that? Sorry, sorry, had to do that joke. It, the, the situation just fit far too well. But anyway, just look at this game. I'm not going to talk over most of this, because it's just flat out bizarre. Up until that point, the game actually seemed fairly normal, and then you just get stuck in that thing for a strangely long amount of time before it lets you start over from the beginning. So I'm just gonna try and run past that part. Mario, what are you doing here? Don't you have better games to be in? Now's a good time to comment on the graphics of this thing. I mean, you can see the background is a big mess. You got that blood red gradient with mountains and trees that just sort of abruptly end on the bottom. And there's incorrect palettes used on the smoke behind Sonic when he runs, as well as that rotating ring on the top of the screen. <laughs> Oh, and also these guys who drop rocks on you, which appear to be the only enemies in this level. Wait, no, we've got another enemy, and it is Daffy Duck spliced with the racist crows from Dumbo. Nice to see they got their priorities straight, though. It wouldn't quite be Sonic without the bouncy mushrooms that appeared in a single level of Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, stuck in another trap. To make another AVGN reference, this actually reminds me of the claw that just sort of grabs you and then you do nothing from Bark vs. the World. <laughs> Mario apparently acts as a save point, which is quite nice of him. And also, he's immune to the scowling, prowling Daffy Ducks. Okay, looks like I beat the level, and we've got a strangely off-palette Sonic running, running back and forth for no reason. And oh, good god, my ears! Oh, you're lucky that I've got the volume turned on on the game, because good gravy that stuff is grating. That's all I'm going to show for this game. And so the main question that most people are probably wondering at this point is, what the hell is up with this game? What is it a hack of? And you probably wouldn't guess. However, I did actually give one hint by mentioning the Daffy Ducks, because this is a Looney Tunes-related game. And it's also a fairly decent one to base a Sonic game off of, due to the speed. Because this is originally a Speedy Gonzales game. Speedy Gonzales in Los Gatos Bandidos, to be specific. I probably would have never f learned of this, if not for pure luck. 
I showed the hack to my friend, she didn't know what was up with it either, and then a few days later randomly stumbled upon the page that I have linked to in the description. And it'll do a much better job of explaining what the story behind the game is than I would, so just go there if you're interested. I just wanted to show this off because it is very, very odd. <laughs>